Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Anne and on my channel, I review foreign international content. Today, I'm back to review this excellent series that we're watching from South Korea. It's called See You in My 19th Life. And once again, I'm here with questions. So who is Syoha's dad? Because I think once we figure out who his father was, we'll probably put these things together because I'm feeling like what is the reason for trying to kill him, right? The current guy who is his dad, I don't think that's his biological father. And somebody actually alluded that in the comment section from the previous video. Um, I'm like, who is his father? And it can't be the uncle who he's very close with, which was very, really, like really disturbing to hear that he's the one who actually went to the guy to ask for an accident, a collision to happen. And I'm like, wait, I thought you were a nice guy. So I'm like, well, that can't can be his dad. So the only thing I can think of, and I also think somebody also said the same thing in the comment section is maybe Siuha's dad is the same dad to Do Yoon, his friend, who was the driver who was driving that day. Because remember, the reason why they want to take him, and I think it was the dad who said it, is we needed to remove this person so that we can inherit all of it meaning so they can inherit what his mother left when she passed away. Clearly, it sounds like he was next to inherit this. And clearly he's in their way. And that's why they wanted him gone. Once his mom died, they set up that accident to take him out. I was just kind of sad to know the uncle who he actually loves, which was heartbreaking to him because he was just like, wow, how can you trust anybody if people you think you the ones that should love you? don't so that's crazy so that's my theory let me know if you're thinking the same maybe the driver is also his dad uh, because if this was his dad's son why would you want to kill your own son i don't get that right let me know in the comment section i'm interested to hear that and then now to make the plot even more complicated miss bun aka jiwoon father in this life that she was born in who is a deadbeat of a father uh, clearly just used her and then she had to run away from home which it turns out was the driver he was the driver who was paid uh to go do this collusion and he was trying i guess to wipe out the debts of um the son which would be miss bun's current brother the, how complicated is that? And I'm also thinking he, he was told to just sit there and just let the collision happen. But it seemed like he was surprised that the brakes didn't work because he thought he was just supposed to sit there, right? Almost like did they trick him and make sure that there was no brakes in the dump truck and that's why he ended up colliding with the car. So I'm not sure like is he 100% guilty for the collusion or was he set up and then the collusion happened right so that'll be interesting to find out more like okay clearly he did do it to wipe out the debt for the son but did he actually know that the truck uh the brakes didn't work you know what i'm saying so let me know what you think i don't think he was aware the brakes didn't work although he knew he was just there to cause a collision I mean, either way, I think he's guilty because clearly you are there to harm someone. So whether the brakes didn't work or work still, that's a problem. And then now we go to Miss Ban and Mingi, the guardian angel. Okay, so he is in his 23rd life, uh, meaning now they will seeing that she's aware there is other people here who also are reincarnated which, by the way, I mentioned last week that young lady is his mom, reincarnated, right? I knew it. I knew it because she's like, I'm watching. I'm watching him. And then she also recognized uh, Ji Moon and came to her and said, you grew up to be a nice, you know, girl, whatever that was. And I'm like, that must be his mom. So that's interesting to see. But now when she's had that flashback, like we saw, it sounds like 
Mingi, the guardian angel, was her first love. Because remember, he's in his 23rd life and she is in her 19th life. But then that one scene, is it Sio Ha who kills him? And wow, I'm thinking, wait, if he's the one who did it and then Miss Ban finds this out, that's going to make things very complicated because wait, you killed my first love, but then I love you. What? Unless that's not what the picture is, but all we see is him holding the sword. And then we see Miss Ban crying, holding Mingi, right? So the assumption is we're being told he's the one who did it. But then there's the other picture of him playing with the kids, soccer, and they look so happy. And then there was that one scene that it looked like it was him with Miss Bun, with the fireworks, looking very romantic, but we didn't get a close up. So I'm a little suspect if that was him or was it Mingi? So I cannot wait to find out more about that, right? That will be interesting to see this love triangle because remember, Mingi said to Miss Bun, you have to find out what happened in your first life because whatever happened in your first life, it's what's causing you to remember every life you've lived in because most people don't tend to remember, but you've been remembering them. So for that reason, you gotta go back to your first life and find out what happened there. Uh, Cause then maybe that would solve the problem. We'll see. But the other part that I loved, obviously his relationship with Miss Ban is just, oh, really excellent. I mean, we saw them share a kiss. That was nice to see. And clearly he's like, yeah, I like you, but I'm not ready to be ready to date yet. I get that because, I mean, he's trying to still figure out, like, who are you and why do you remind me of that person that I used to know who died, right? Remember, she's playing that piano and he's like, so I'm thinking in the next episode, maybe we find out if you will believe the reincarnation and that that was her. So we'll see how he takes it. Is he going to be freaked out or is he going to be like, oh, yeah, it's you and I believe in reincarnation and you came back. Who knows? We'll see what happens there. And then I'm loving the relationship between Do Yun and Cho Won. I love that she's like, I know you don't want to be involved with me, but I'm just going to continue liking you. And I love that he was like, yeah, I do like you. I'm not going to deny that I like you, but I just cannot be with you right now. He used that line, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> but we all know Do Yun, the way it sounds like clearly he was raised uh, by his father and apparently he insisted that he goes to school with Siu Ha meaning it was forced on him and it sounds like he was always reminded that you're poor you're poor you're poor and you're not worthy and I believe that's the same thing he's feeling when it comes to Cho Won because he's thinking I'm not worthy I'm not worthy right anyway let me know in the comment section what you thought of seven and eight i thought seven was really cute everything seemed so everybody was being so lovey-dovey and romantic and then i loved in eight that was trying to get more information i really cannot wait for her to really get the whole vision of what happened in the first life because i feel that that will really put things together and then i really cannot wait to find out why who first of all who is his dad his real dad because they're trying to they were trying to take him out when he was a kid once his mom died. Why? Hmm? Why? If you have any speculations or know why you think it is, let us know in the comment section. That always gets up, you know. And thinking about all the different plots that it could be. That is the fun of this show. But once again, thank you so much for joining me. Join me next week when we review episode 9 and 10. It's really a fantastic show. I'm just loving how it's unfolding. Just really excellent. And as usual, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next week. Deuces.